All right, how's everybody doing out there in Math Magic Land? That's right, Mr. Muscarel coming at you. And in this video, I'm going to show you real quickly how to double check that you got the correct vertex from a standard form equation using Desmos. And we're also going to show you how to double check your table of values in Desmos as well. So first thing we're going to do is do the arithmetic that we need. So here's one of the problems we had from our homework x squared plus 2x minus 2. And with this, of course, you know, we need to first identify a, b, and c. And from there, once we get that done and we've correctly identified those, we're going to use the formula. Remember, for the axis of symmetry, you're going to use the formula x equals negative b over 2a for the axis of symmetry for standard form quadratics. And we'll identify those, then we just take the opposite of b. So whatever the b value is, take the opposite sign. It'll give us negative 2 over 2 when we multiply 2 times 1. And that gives us a value of negative 1. Take that answer, negative 1, whatever we just got. And remember, notation, make sure you write x equals in front of it. But take our answer for negative 1 that we got for the, a, the axis of symmetry. Plug that in for all of the x's in my original equation and evaluate that, and you'll come up with a y value of negative 3. So now I'm going to take my original function, that x squared plus 2x minus 2, plug that into Desmos. When we do that, when we put that into Desmos, we'll get a picture. And in that picture, we're going to have uh, several things show up. So I want you to click on the graph. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, at our minimum, we're going to have a gray dot show up. When we click on that dot, we'll have the coordinates negative 1, negative 3. Well, boom. That's what I wanted. So that was pretty cool. So that is the vertex that I came up with from my work. Now, after you do the graphing and you plot the points and everything, you'll list your table of values. So we have a table of values here uh, that we have. So in order to check to make sure that we're right, so I want to double check this, make sure I'm good, and I didn't make any mistakes. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little gear icon. So let me go back to that for a second and we're just going to click on this gear icon and we're going to hit this little ta convert to table button now from here I'm going to type in each one of my x values negative 4 and I get 6 when I type in negative 3 we get 1 if I type in negative 2 you'll see that we get a value of negative 2 so you can do that for each one of these all along the way and you'll notice in the picture itself those dots are starting to show up so negative one is already there, zero is there, one is there, two is there. So all of the dots that are on the graph are, con are the points that are in my table, my x, y values. Which, if I look at how I did it algebraically, yeah, I did it correctly. So that's how you can use Desmos to kind of check and make sure that you're good with all of those little pieces um, to see there. So all, everything's happy and we're happy and everything matches so that's a good thing all right that's it for this video thank you guys for watching man i'll catch you up with you later peace out